Trujillo, this is the world's greatest living artist. You are in my studio. You are in beautiful company. Let's do this. I'm going to make a painting right now. This is a 12 by 16 canvas. Okay, I'm going to make a painting right now for those of you who are like, oh my God, Jose Trujillo is the world's greatest living artist. Yeah. Some people are going to hate me because I said the world's greatest living artist, but I kind of am, you guys. I just kind of am. So here we go. Let's get started with this. All right. Let's get started with this. So again, for those of you who don't know what I do, the style that I do is very, uh, it's expressionism. It's got some grounds and impressionistic je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love that. Now I roll with it. Thank you. Thank you, brother. <laughs> and uh, here we go. Check it out. It's very, um, it's abstract in nature, right? But um, the cool thing about this is that it allows you, or me in this case, to paint in a way where it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be available unless I forgave myself, right? Unless I allowed it to be this way. If I'm trying to figure out how I can do it proper and how I can, you know, use the right technique and on and on and on, that would be beautiful. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that anyways. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? Uh, the way that I paint is not superior or less than any other way. It's just the way that I paint, and I'm just breaking it down here for you guys. But uh, if, if I was to try to control what I was going to paint so much, I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't create the work that I do. I just couldn't for many reasons. One of them, it would hold me back, right? The time would hold me back. The other one, um, I'd probably be in this uh, almost, um, what do they call it? Analysis, paralysis by analysis. And that wouldn't be no bueno for me, right? That would be no bueno uh, because the style that I paint, again, is uh, it has to do with letting go and, and, and finding something new, right? So you, you have to let go of what you know to find something new. And that's tricky to do because most of us want to hold on to what we know. Right? Most of us want to hold on to what we know. And even in doing this style, I see, I see people that are doing this style, they still want to hold on to what they know. You know, um, I see some artists who I've, I've mentored over the years, and they still want to hold on. And it's okay, it's part of the growth, right? I, I've done it myself, numerous, numerous times. But uh, you will not get the benefits of this style if you're holding on to what you know. There has to come a point where you have to stop trying to know what's going to happen next and you have to stop trying to know um, to control it right you have to stop trying to control it the control has to be different I don't I don't really think you stop trying to control but the control be, you you morph the control into rather than I'm going to I'm going to control the way the flowers are going to come out to I'm going to control my feelings how I feel about this see the control shifts from, from the painting to the artist, right? I no longer want to control the painting, but I want to control myself. If that makes any sense. And I no longer want to control the painting, I want to control myself. If I control myself, then the painting, the painting can, can be whatever it wants, right? It, almost like I take my brain out of the equation. I have to, I have to, otherwise I can't get shit done, right? I have to take my brain out of the equation. I have to take myself out of it. If, if I take myself out of it, I have a much better chance of creating something meaningful, something truthful, right? As opposed to a, pay, a pretty little painting. I don't want to make a pretty little painting. I want to paint something true, right? Something true, something, something with truth. Even if it's little flowers, even if it's a hummingbird, even if it's whatever it is, I want it to be truthful. Truthful to me, right? I'm not trying to impress anyone. I want it to be truthful to me. And in order for me to do that, I have to step away from my own thinking patterns. My, think, my, my thinking patterns are, are very much, I, I think, most artists' thinking patterns, right? 
I, I hope that I get the light right. I hope that the brushwork is is right. Uh, did I use too much yellow? Did I use too much green? Uh, those are my thinking patterns. And I want to step away from them so that I'm able to bring something to life that has never come to life before. Right? I'm not trying to do a cookie cutter thing where I'm like, oh, okay, I know what the thing is here. No, I want to step away from what I know. You know? I want to step away from what I know. I want to remove myself from what I know and so that something else can be born. If, if you continue to try to control the painting, it, it is my estimation, uh, my belief, through experience, okay, this belief didn't come out of uh, a night that I was overthinking something. Through experience, it is my belief that you're going to have a hard time painting unless you start learning how to let go of the pattern, the pattern, the, the, the pattern that we all do. There's a pattern that we all do. We want to control the painting. It feels right. It, 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 it makes you feel safe. But the painting does not want to be controlled. The painting is a fucking beast. The paint, it's like trying to control a, 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 a lion. Don't try to control the lion. You cannot, you cannot dominate or control the lion. At best, at best, give it space. At best. Right? You can give it space so that so that it lives and it's the, and it does its thing now, a lot of people are not gonna buy with me on this and i get it it's all right it's not for everybody it's for the people that 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 get the message and those are the people that i want to share this with right and uh some people don't get the message but they enjoy it so it's for you too if you enjoy it you know but this is the way that, that I believe painting is more meaningful, at least to me. Right? I try different styles of painting, different things. To me, painting becomes more meaningful when I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to control it. I'm actually letting it be. I want it to be born, and I use speed to do that, right? And I use speed to do that, and I also use um, color and texture to do that. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to inter interfere, intervene between me and the and the work. Uh, I've done that too many times. I've done that throughout the years. I don't want to do that anymore. And if you're sick or tired of doing that, uh, try implementing some of the things that I've been talking about. You know, don't overthink it. Um, the work, the the artwork is never over, but the painting can be over, right? The artwork is never is never done, but the, the painting can can have a, a moment where it's done like right now it's done the painting is done i'm not gonna come back to it i'm not gonna touch it i'm not gonna but the artwork is not over the artwork is going to continue right why why does the artwork continue because the the viewer now is going to add to it or take away the viewer participates in the creation of the artwork this is very important this is something that gets missed a lot between uh uh artists and collectors the viewer gets to finish, if they wish, gets to finish the, the, the story, right? The viewer can look at this from a distance and say, oh, I see what it is. Or, it can, or the viewer can say, you know what, it has, uh, I, I need to take away, right? Or I need to add. And then the mind does that. The mind does that. This is what Picasso used to say, uh, especially in portraits. In no time, the portrait, the person's going to look like the portrait, not the, not the portrait, it's not the other way around. The portrait's not going to look like the person, like the sitter. The sitter is going to look like the portrait. Why? Because the brain adjusts, right? It adds or removes. It adjusts to what is. It just does. Look at that texture. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist, guys. I really appreciate all of you uh, being here and uh, participating and commenting, sharing my work. It is, a, it is an honor to, to be able to, to share my work with as many people as possible. I really enjoy it. And, and this is how I do it. By the way, if you like this painting, this painting will be available on my eBay shop. The link is in my profile. Uh, it'll be available at auction. And the auction is going to start at $0.99, cents, which, is, which is pretty cool. Okay, The auction is going to start at $0.99. Cents, 
And uh, this painting measures 12 by 16 inches. It is oil on canvas. Okay, it is oil on canvas. It is stretch canvas, as you can see right here. It's stretch canvas, so you can hang it as is, or you can put a frame on it if you want to. Uh, I got frames too. If you if you like that, I can add a frame for you. Um, and this painting retails, by the way, when I do out gallery shows, the painting retails for about eight eight hundred bucks, somewhere around there, um, with a frame, of course. But uh, but I'm I'm a little fucking crazy, so I'm going to auction it, and and the auction is going to start at ninety nine cents on eBay. So uh, it gets a it gets a it becomes available, and I want that. I want my work to be available. I think it's important for the work to be available. And this is how I make it available. I auction my works, many of my works. So thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. And uh, stay, stick around. Stick around when you get a chance because I'm going to be doing more videos tonight. All right? Take care. Oh, some people have been asking me about the palette. So I'm going to review the palette right here. Look, right here I got, I got soft mixing white. I got phthalo blue. I got viridian, viridian green. Uh, you can use turquoise, you can use phthalo, phthalo green, or yeah, phthalo green for that too, if you want. Um, I got yellow, cad, cad pale yellow, cad red, dioxin purple, magenta, and Mars black. And that's how it is. And hell, I mean, take a look at the studio. This is my studio. So. How about it? Okay. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate you guys uh, hanging out with me. All right. Take care. Talk to you soon.